Okay. We're back with some sign predictions, some sign energy readings. I'll try to do this every coming of new cycle, uh, like in the summertime when um, there's that date around the 21st. And then recently also it just hit. We're almost at Christmas right now. And I'm about to do a reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Gemini, you need to find your motivation. I'm hearing a lot of you have already found what it is that you want to do, but you need to think more. You need to visualize more like the end goal of how successful that thing's going to make you or you think it's going to make you. You really need to focus on the success, being like acclaimed, all the glamour and the clamor. That's a word around you once you finally do this thing because Gemini, success is assured. And I'm hearing also rest assured that you've really entered this path of like divine timing with the 1111 some of you may see a lot of angel numbers uh, i'm hearing you may be an angel number as in the date that you're born on may be a very significant date in geometry or in sacred geometry in uh, religion philosophy whatever a lot of you have a direct pathway um and communication line to god to spirit <laughs> I'm hearing make more content about this because people would not believe how much you communicate with spirit. So a little like task challenge for the new year is to create content about how spiritual you are. Make people fall in love with how spiritual you are. And that's actually going to get you so much success. And I'm hearing a lot of money. Make people fall in love with how spiritual you are because the way you operate is from a much more, um, naturally you're meant to operate from a much more spiritual base than a lot of people are capable of doing. Ah! Okay, so there's two things coming here. On one hand, realize the beautiful spiritual being that you are on a daily basis, but on the other hand, also practice daily exercises, okay? Stretching, there's something. If you guys have like a physical goal, it could take years to reach that goal. So I'm hearing every day starting now that you start like stretching, it's going to help. The reason why um, there is stiffness and it comes from the womb you were carried in. Um, you may have been carried in the womb of somebody who was uh, privy to like sexual trauma or sexual shaming. A lot of shame around sexuality this has caused a tightening specifically I'm seeing some of you may want to do the split some of you may want like more back bend flexibility and it's not naturally even your shoulders might be stiff oh yeah um, this actually comes just from trauma it's like nothing's wrong with your body nothing is wrong with your ligaments it's really just this heavy energy that you accumulated from being in a certain womb to get here it's trapped in your body and it could take years to liberate. I'm hearing not all of you are going to wait eight years, but some people, it could be as long as eight years before you see yourself being able to touch your toes or do that split, front toe, sideways, whatever it is. Um, also, this is a sign for some of you, if you're not already, to dance more as Geminis. Very important for you to dance, to shake those hips. I want to shake my lovely hips. You see, she's like twirling. She's in this lovely like position with her feet pointed. It's time to shake some hips. Yes. Okay. Next. Your final card is intuition 15 days. So for the next 15 days, this means the first two weeks of... Um, the new year you guys really need to listen to your intuition you guys really need to pay attention to your inner nudging if you get the urge to do something say something go somewhere be a certain way look a certain way for something whatever it is just listen to it don't doubt it i hope this eyelash is like okay just don't doubt it and yeah for the next 15 days 15 days after whenever you've watched this after it's when it's been posted there's going to be something about your intuition is going to grow, especially if you take this advice to move. And it's most importantly to stretch, okay? If you can't do 30 minutes a day of the stretch that you would need to achieve a certain goal, then do 8 minutes of it, okay? I have a video about that on my channel where it's better to tell yourself you're going to do 3 minutes of something than, than to say you're going to do 45 minutes and not do it. Tell yourself you're going to do 3 minutes, guaranteed you're going to end up doing 15, okay? You get it? trick yourself you're smart Gemini use those mind tricks on yourself um and don't play with anybody's emotions in the coming year don't don't mess with anybody just because you can it's not cute stop it that's immature 
if you do that, okay? Yeah, as long as you set your sights on whatever goal it is and you work towards it daily, even if it's just three minutes a day, you will achieve your goal. How much time you spend on it and the amount of force you put into it does determine how long it's going to take you to reach that goal. Love and light to you. Talk to you in the next one. Check out my previous videos. I've done these videos for all the signs. Bye.